What's up y'all, it's Timmy, and I'm about to take you four-wheeling up what I believe is the highest mountain pass that you can four-wheel up in the United States of America. Mosquito Pass, just outside of Breckenridge, Colorado. We'll see what happens, let's go. We're just leaving Breckenridge now and we're heading south towards the town of Alma, I think it's called, which is where Mosquito Pass Trail starts and it ends in Leadville. I kind of got online and looked around and I couldn't find anything about a hard-sided truck camper doing the trail, no videos or anything. Uh, there is one video where a Toyota 4x4 Sun Raider attempted it and they turned around. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can do the whole thing. The only catch is I'm rolling solo. But anyway, the pass climbs to over 13,000 foot elevation. It's pretty nuts. And uh, it's only open for a few weeks out of the year because of the snow and high elevation and all that business. So anyway, we're driving south, going to the trailhead. This drive from Breckenridge to Alma, where the trailhead is, is about 16 miles. You're just climbing up and over this pass. It's not too far. We have arrived to the town of Alma. North America's highest incorporated town. Here's the old South Park Saloon. This is cool. Our turn's coming up pretty shortly here. We're turning uh, right where that number 10 highway is there. Here it is, Park Hills Road. This is our turn. And it takes you up uh, Park County Road number 10. Let's do it. Basically drive right past the last houses and uh, up we go. Right into the trail, no time wasted. First obstacle immediately super rocky. Going on. Oh, you're on line, man. Oh, right on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Timmy. August, yeah. August. This is my place right here. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, right it's on. A nice pad. Yeah, thanks. Where are you headed? Uh, just up and over the pass, just yeah. do some camping and stuff. Right on. Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. Right on, man. Right on, man. Appreciate care. it. There you go. Meeting locals already. I guess he's seen the rig on the net. Look at that place. <laughs> uh, I think I know where to go camping now, so that's awesome. Let's go find it. All right, my dudes. We go past six miles up. Four wheel drive only. Let's go. Check it out. Nice. It's elk. Hopefully we can mob a couple miles up to where these lakes are, get a good camping spot. If not, we'll just stop where we need to. super bouncy. Like I was saying, I've got like 65 PSI in these tires right now. So once I get to camp, I'll let some air out of the tires tonight. We have arrived at the first switchback. It's still in two wheel drive, but just in a low gear. We are approaching the steepness where the lake and stuff is. So. Ooh, that looks rocky. Oh, oh, oh man. Maybe we'll go back down and camp right there. Cause I don't know. I don't know. We're going to make it to this lake. Let's do it. Let's lock the hubs. That is super rocky. We're gonna do it though. This is steep, crazy rocky. I don't have lockers either. Oh, okay. Bro, it doesn't look that rocky, but it's uh, it's steep, pretty, pretty rugged. We're doing it though. We all know this camera is gonna do no justice, but uh, here goes nothing. Ooh, all right. Getting a little bit gnarly. We just got started too. If I had front and rear lockers in this thing, I'd swear it could kind of go anywhere. Well, at this point, I'm committed, so here we go. We're 
we're getting it all right now we get to get to camp it's gonna get dark my goodness this is uh pretty rowdy but here's i think the first right little split off i think this is where that dude is talking about so i'm gonna try to camp here Woo! that was exciting <laughs> i tried to make it up to the lake on this little side trail, it might as well be a four-wheeler trail. Got super crazy narrow, and then the switchback started to get way too sharp for this F-350 with a truck camper in the back. Anyway, we made it here. Get some chicken going on the grill. Hopefully it's not too sketchy. I think there's like a 20% chance of thunderstorms tonight, but tomorrow there's like an 80% chance. So I need to get like up and over this pass before lightning and stuff starts. Let's get that chicken on the grill. It's chilly up here. It's probably like maybe 40 degrees. Cook up some uh, chicken thighs. Cook up a whole bunch of them. Oh, I got them for tomorrow. Chicken thigh breakfast. Stoked to have made it up that super rocky part. So you guys are watching me through a Sony a7 III camera and it's got a uh, Sony 20 millimeter 1.8 lens. G Master lens, so awesome lens. Actually a lot darker than it probably looks on camera right now. Whew. Yeah. Super stoked in the camping spot. Beautiful evening. It ain't raining yet. Delicious chicken thighs cooking. It's gonna be yummy. Life is good, baby. Life is good. I'm going to just sit out here and enjoy what I have left of the daylight. Have a nice casual morning here too. Enjoy that. Plated chicken. I'm about to pass out, but first I want to sing you guys a little song. Written by one of the best friends I ever had, Mr. Johnny Lungs. Love you, Johnny. Miss you, man. We're going to book some shows for this winter. Do it again. Whoa. All right. Night, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Oh, what's going on outside today? It's pretty chilly. Not really, but kind of. It's like 38 degrees. So I should probably get on through here in case it tries to snow. Because if it snows, I am in trouble. So we're going to go up towards that mine up there and up and over the pass. I think it's going to be a little more difficult than what we've done so far. But that's what we're doing. But first, I'm gonna have some yogurt and granola for breakfast. Get ourselves a little breakfast on the porch. And then I heard a raindrop on the stairs. I hope it doesn't rain. Maybe I should turn around, I don't know. 80% chance of thunderstorms this afternoon, so I need to get it. It's like 6.30 in the morning right now, so I should be able to beat it, I hope. All right, 7-3, do me proud. Here we go. Getting there slowly, but man, this is one rough road. 
<laughs> we'll see, man. This is like just pushing the limit for what a truck camper can do. 190%. Just like a little switch back here before uh for the mine. Here we are climbing up Mosquito Pass. It's uh, a little steeper and sketchier than I expected, but we're getting there. Well, it turns out there is a pretty sketchy obstacle around the corner. I'm sure it used to be mellow, but a lot of people have been driving this trail and it's just all dug out and uh, really off camber and really flexy. And uh, I don't have lockers. I have open differentials in this truck. So if my tire goes in the air, I don't go anywhere. Whereas probably some of these other rigs have lockers and they're able to just keep pushing through when their tires are near. So uh, I don't know. I haven't made my decision yet, but I'll get to right. I'll show you guys really quick. So right now I can still turn around, but once I get past this obstacle, I'm gonna be forced to go just because there's no way in hell I'm doing this obstacle backwards. I wouldn't have any braking power, I'd just start sliding. Can't really see it, but there's like a three foot ditch on each side and it keeps alternating with three foot ditches. So it's just super goon, goon, goon. And really, really steep. Can't tell how steep this is. So I'm kind of broken. I can either push on into the unknown if I can even make it past this obstacle or I have to turn around and do all that crazy crap I already came through. So I'm just sitting up here looking at it again. I think I'm going to turn around. I just think it's too sketchy. And 11,000 feet, I'm out of, out of a breath. But yeah, you can see this ditch right here. I'm sure it looks like nothing on camera. There's like three foot ditch there, three foot ditch there, three foot ditch there, three foot ditch there, which is going to make the truck start flexing all crazy with a heavy camper and it's actually really steep and uh loose traction i just don't have a good feeling about it i'm thousands of miles from home right now and uh i gotta be smart when i make decisions about where i'm wheeling the truck house here now if i took the camper off i wouldn't think twice about this i go straight up that with the flatbed i saw some other videos and uh this did not look this bad this is getting way more trenched out and dug out from people spinning out so unfortunately i would not call this a uh easy trail anymore at least not for a truck camper i guess i'll back down here and get turned around and head down unfortunately my truck is like 26 feet long so i can't turn around here i'm gonna have to back down this uh off-road stuff i just drove up 